Twitch. Even though I still can't upload my videos to Twitch. Maybe I got banned. I don't know. I can still stream when I do a Stone Gaming 2.0. Yeah. You guys are ready for that, I bet. Hopefully uh, I can actually handle a gram-sized dab. But uh, for today, I'm promoting good health, especially with this whole COVID thing going on. I'm going to be reviewing one of my oldest pieces. I don't want to say oldest because um, it's definitely one of my oldest digital pieces, say you will. It's my Arizer Vaporizer. I bought this thing in March 2010. So it's literally over 10 years old now. It does come with two ways you can ingest. You can do the classic whip or hose method, which is what this guy is hooked up right now, as well as you can do the balloon or bag method, similar to what the volcanoes do. Vaporizers save you money, but it's totally customizable. This can go up to 500 degrees, but I typically will take it around 420 degrees, ironically. Again, I bought this strictly from the manufacturer. You can buy knockoffs upon knockoffs upon knockoffs all online. Make sure you buy it directly from the manufacturer because I've had friends who bought knockoffs and it sounds lame, but burning your weed with a vaporizer is terrible. I've never tasted something so disgusting in my life. I literally in the 10 years plus of having this guy have only had weed burn once. And that was because I was being a stingy fuck vaping vaped weed. When I bought it originally in 2010, it cost $299. Now, in 2020, it costs $189. Let's pack it, shall we? Taste it, try it out, show it. Want to make sure you have your weed ground up. People prefer not to have their weed ground, but I personally think that it vapes better and you get a better turk profile if you vape it ground up. The first couple of hits, you really taste it. First time I ingested cannabis was when I was 21, and that was through a vaporizer. It wasn't this one, but it was very similar. It didn't have a digital dial. It was your classic hot box. This is definitely an upgrade to say the least. I forgot to tell you, his name is Darth Vapor and he does like to be at 420. He doesn't like to be 500 degrees. He likes the terpenes as well. I prefer using the whip over the bag. With the bag or balloon system, over time, it starts to keep the taste of the weed and it is not pleasant and you can't clean it. So replacing a bag is kind of an inconvenience However, you can use turkey baster bags. If you find a huge turkey baster bag, you literally can just zip tie it to the, the mouthpiece and it works. Like in a ghetto rig things like me, you can give that a try. But again, I like this hose method or <laughs> hose method. They call it a whip. I still think it's a hose, but maybe it's less perverted if they do that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hoses or whips do also start to hold a taste, but the cool thing is, is I will literally just cut. I'll pull this off and I'll literally just cut probably about this much off. Cause you can see that it does start to build up in there. Goodies, a little bit of moisture from it, but cutting it and then you can replace it. Just make sure you get food grade silicone because you don't want to risk getting some random plastic bullshit. Gotta wait for it to warm up. I wait for this to get really hot, so like you won't want to touch this. You only touch the black part. If you touch this, it'll burn your ass. But if you put this in and you let it preheat, 
and then you put your weed in there, it usually hits pretty instantaneous. And it does give you good hits too. The one thing people always forget too is what to do with your vaped weed when you're done with it. Most people will just throw it out, which is a big, big mistake. I would highly recommend saving it. Not only can you use it for edibles, I really, really like using it for topicals. Using it for topicals, helps make your topical more full spectrum. Having a random salad of vaped weed that you put in your infused oil, not to mention, most importantly, include the roots. Those honestly can be a game changer. And it's already decarboxylated, so you're really just infusing it at this point. You don't have to worry about decarboxylating anything. Definitely a tasty treat. Highly recommend getting this. Again, make sure you get it from the manufacturer. It's not worth saving an extra $20 on eBay. Doing this in the morning when I'm congested really, really helps out. I can remember morning upon morning where I'd wake up completely congested, nose can't breathe, can't smell a damn thing. I'll pack this thing and literally it's a game changer. Now again, I do like smoking as well, but smoking typically is more so if I'm having stomach issues. If I'm having lung issues, smoking's not exactly the best choice. And again, it does sound goofy, but I mean, I do still smoke for lung relief as well. When I'm riding my bike, I will literally pack a chillum, or I'll bring Yordi with me, my big old bull, and pop pack it with a bronchial dilator. Doing that, I literally can go harder and faster. But again, I don't really want to bring something like this around because I'm not a big fan of portable vaporizers. I could hook this guy up to a battery, but it's not exactly mobile. It's called a desktop vaporizer for a reason. Definitely give it a try. I highly recommend it. Or at least if you're looking at a volcano, I would say give this a look because you're spending half the money and you're getting just as good, if not better. Because let's face it, the volcano doesn't give you a whip and you can hook this up to any remote you want. I'm using it with my universal remote that works with my receiver, my TV, my lights, and lastly, my vaporizer. So again, this vaporizer is from Arizer. You can go to their website, at, I think it's arizer.com, but either way, you can just type in the Arizer Extreme Q which again, this is over 10 years old. Not to say that they haven't revised it, but over 10 years old, and it's amazing. I, I mean, if this breaks on me ever, I'm gonna end up just buying another one because it's been so resilient. With how it survived my old roommates, I mean, shit. I couldn't say half of my glass survived half of my roommates, but this, it sure did. Not to mention, they give you extra pieces. So they'll give you an extra one of these, which holds the actual weed. Uh, I don't know what you call this, but hose connector maybe? Because these are probably one of the first things you'll end up breaking. And then it also gives you, gives you these little screens, which you can see this one's quite dirty right now, but these are super easy to clean. All you have to do is soak it in rubbing alcohol and salt. Make that 91% rubbing alcohol, that is, because 72% just doesn't cut it. And it's good as new, and you'll taste it. I mean, that's probably the one thing you want to make sure you clean. I mean, obviously, you want to clean all of it, but cleaning that screen or that filter is probably the most important thing. Should I turn the, the hose on? Yeah. You turn on the light, can turn on... Ooh, it's even got a sleep timer. So if you get so high and you forget to turn it off, it will do it for you. Oh, 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 oh. look at this. <laughs> this thing's gonna keep going. <laughs> I should have bought that remote, but <laughs> otherwise, take it easy, YouTube, Twitch, and Weed Tube. I'll see you guys later. Or will I? <laughs> Only smoke cigarettes and strictly shag. Oh no! See?
Well, my boy told me that he had the greatest crop. And so I went to his yard to vape a lot. I never seen my weed, that's a problem. Never seen another person's weed and thought to rob them. But then I might be different from the rest. Cause getting high to me is like revision to the test. Listen, I got the best glisten and even the cess wicked. My next mission is to give all the rest vision. Show them what you consider free is the next prison. What you consider prison and next division. I've been the visionary thief, cause everything that I say is all recycled beliefs. But you don't hear me though, and I don't even hear myself most times. Always out here, still chasing the wealth. Wanna feel my energy, energy. wanna spit a ball with me. Easy as ABC, I'm the person that you wanna be. Wanna spit a ball with me, wanna feel my energy. Easy as ABC, I'm the person that you wanna be.